yo, it's lost in the source. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got Jebs there. Come on. Got KB here. Yeah. I'm here. We're gonna be watching um sneakers final message. Get me. Yeah, man. How, how do you feel about the whole sneaker uh situation? Bro, to be honest, I can't lie. I feel like sneaker actually just ruined himself, man. No oh, facts. Facts. There's times I like. I literally sat down and watched the video. Mm. And my man was literally saying, oh, I'm not going to use, oh, I'll get banned and stuff. But he literally put himself... He's doing things to get himself banned, you, get you know what I'm saying? And that's where... It's like he low-key wanted it to happen, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I feel like he's just following a bit of Andrew's yeah, yeah. little vibe and that, but... And I think he didn't expect both of his channels to get deleted. And that's what's pissing me off, because it's like, his main channel, mm. where he was doing a lot of, like, creative things on there, yeah? Like, that... Like a lot of his videos, I feel like was some of the best videos ever made on YouTube, like ever. You know what I'm saying? Mm. He, he, like he was actually changing the game, yeah? yeah. In terms of creativity on there, and it's like to make all of that go because of some fucking this bullshit, this bullshit that you've been following. It's just ridiculous, bro. Like man's forgetting that he's making all of this money from YouTube. So if right. that's the case, you need to follow their guidelines, innit? If they don't want you to do certain you things, you have to. But do Not you feel it. like this guy decided to, like, let's just say, oh, I feel like I can hack the system because I haven't got anything wrong with me, um, like, anything wrong, but because Andrew Tate and them yeah, all got yeah, blocked, yeah, so yeah, do you think yeah. he's following that? Yeah, yeah, that's what you're doing, bro. He, want, he wants to be one of them, man. He wants to be one of them co controversial people just because, like, obviously, he, he, he's just in too deep in the red pill rabbit hole, innit? Like, mm. he's seen certain things and gravitated towards it, and then now he's just kind of attached his identity to it. You know what I'm saying? Um, is what anyway, let's see what you guys, let's get lost in it. Yeah, man. After nearly a decade of dedicating my life's work to YouTube.com, they terminated all of my channels. For those of you that don't know, before I started live streaming three months ago, I amassed a million subscribers on my main channel called Sneeko, doing artistic, creative, funny videos with the motto of seeking truth through funny. I started in middle school taking the bus home and then uploading my Call of Duty commentaries, evolving to my famous series called The One Minute Podcast where I was interviewing people on the streets of New York City. Then when I started live streaming on my second channel, Schneeko, I quickly- I can't lie, the, the, the ones with these, like, let's say, doing a one minute podcast, yeah. I see what you mean. That yeah. thing there is art. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no, one minute podcast was hard. I think that that was mad cool. But even his little, like, you would do, like, little, like- like essays like video essays mm. and he'll be talking about like you know like depression he'll make a whole video about depression and like yeah. the whole vibe of the video the way he okay, shot it yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying yeah, like yeah, yeah. He, he was he was very creative man like I don't understand why he made this happen in it but yeah, so. he grew to 850,000 subscribers in a summer they had to do something the theme of my live streams was labeled as red pill which a lot of people on the internet misconstrue as some pickup artist, misogynistic women hating, when in reality, the analogy comes from the movie The Matrix when Morpheus offers Neo the red pill or the blue pill. The red pill meaning the truth. Since the beginning of my streaming, the mantra I kept repeating to my chat was that freedom of speech is dead, and if they censor it, it's true. And since then, they got me for three strikes, and that's why they terminated everything, not just my second channel, but my main channel, and any fan channel with my name in it. Not only that, but I'm gonna pursue legal action against Google for freezing 120,000 of my dollars because they terminated my account when they felt like it. Them banning me proves what I'm saying right. Freedom of speech is dead. Nobody cares about the truth anymore, and you can see why from my strikes. My first community guidelines warning was for COVID misinformation. My first strike, was for election misinformation. My third one was for nudity, and then they said, you know what, that's too obvious, we'll remove that one. Then I flew to Bucharest, Romania to meet with Andrew Tate and be on his podcast, and they hit me with the cyberbullying strike for a viral video that was uploaded two months ago. If it's not obvious, anything can be labeled as cyberbullying and anything can be labeled as harassment. So I posted a YouTube short on my main channel saying, hey guys, I can't stream for two weeks, I'll see you soon, and YouTube hit me with the circumvention strike, and that's how they were able to delete everything off the platform. Okay, what I will say is that I, I I do agree that, like, these platforms should allow you to speak your mind a bit more, you know what I'm saying? Mm. They shouldn't, like, p have any agendas where if if you're saying something that you that they don't agree with, that they can just erase your, like, erase all of your yeah, content, be you know limited. what I'm saying? Because obviously you're mm. adding, like... YouTube wouldn't be anything without the content creators. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like they need, like, these are the people that's building your platform. But with that being said, 
these businesses are businesses. You know what I'm saying? No, and at the end of the day, the people running these things, they're doing it for money. Yeah, so if you're going to fuck up their money, if they have an agenda, yeah, mm. and they feel like you're fucking up their agenda because the agenda that they have is is for money. You know what I'm saying? They want it to be more family friendly. They want the kids and the, um, they want it to be inclusive, innit? They want mm. everyone to be able to um, go on the platform without feeling offended, innit? So if you're fucking that up, you need to understand that they have every right to take you off. You know what I'm saying? Because it's Word. theirs. It's Word. their thing. You know what Word. I'm saying? So and it's the, Yeah, that is true. I yeah. agree with that. And I feel like he's just trying to manipulate it but plus as what well, plus as well overtake it, like just the whole platform. I don't feel like that's something yeah. what he should actually yeah. be yeah. doing, bro. Yeah. You're supposed yeah. to just chill with it. Yeah, yeah. Because he, he, even in your content, like mm. you keep saying, "Oh, I know they're gonna ban me, so I'm trying to build my own platform." You're saying this on a platform on another platform. You, you know think what I'm they're not watching you? Yeah, exactly. You get what I'm saying? Like you, you man ain't dumb, bro. So it's like, I hear what he's saying from his perspective, but at the same time. It's like, bro, you saw this happening, bro. So you can't be upset, fam. You saw it happening, bro. That's what I'm you saying. saying. So platform. Even though there's channels right now who have done the same thing. Hey guys, I can't stream because I have a strike. I'll see you soon. It's an excuse. There's no consistency with the rules. They attack people who are going against their agenda. All the YouTubers that are celebrating me being banned right now have proved my point as well. They are so brainwashed and programmed that they can't comprehend the fact that celebrating the banning of another YouTuber is sick. Well, I can't lie. I feel like there's a lot of people who are actually are celebrating. Yeah, yeah. He's of course, gone. Of course, of course, of course. Because the way how Don, Donny moves on socials, bro. At the end of the day, it's it's actually like too much for other yeah, people. Yeah, bro. that's what I'm saying. But yeah, exactly. He's offending people. Dude. Yeah. So of course these people are gonna celebrate. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I feel like that's a bit sneaky for you mm. to be cel- like even if you don't if you disagree with someone. To celebrate that someone's banned off a platform, it's like okay. I feel like you. Know I feel like the people who actually celebrate a lot are just literally they can't compete with him. That's why they celebrate. I hear that. Him. I hear that stuff. But maybe not. Maybe you just don't like him. But maybe if if you look, if you don't like him, him, you just don't have to look. That's what I'm that saying. Direction. But if they're both in the same room, I feel like they might not even cope with that way how he was speaking. So they don't know how to react to it. Maybe not. I don't know. But I hear that stuff. But, you know, even before you um mm. play it, yeah, it's like, one thing I don't like, though, is this whole red pill is about the truth. Yeah. It's not about, it's not about, oh, girls and misogyny and that, it's about the truth. But mm. in actuality, what truth is in it? It's all, yeah. when they're talking about this shit, all they talk about is girls, bro. Yeah. That's all percent. they talk about. Oh, men, men are the real, men men are the are the real leaders and girls, they need to be in the kitchen and they need to, that's all they talk about, bro. So they want to keep coming with this thing. Oh, it's not even about girls. It's not even about men versus women and misogyny Boy. and shit. But it's like, that's all you niggas talk about, bro. Like, no, this is true. why these people want you off these platforms because you're just attacking women every day, bro. Every day. Every you're day. Like, that's making, your content. Bro. You're making women feel very, let's just say upset in a type of way of you know like watching these type of things you're yeah, basically yeah. putting them down yeah yeah but yeah. the thing is, is that i'll be honest it's an equal world women are different from men and men are different but at the same time what does that make you both can make a child from that yeah, you don't can yeah. make basically a future yeah but the thing is is that if you're putting women down what, what's gonna happen they're gonna end up turning to a lesbians or yeah, something yeah yeah and yeah, then when yeah, they turn yeah. into lesbians <laughs> where they're gonna go bruv facts man man it's like I understand what people say when they're saying that they're, they're, they're fucking up the youth. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, with that being said, I still don't think that you should stop them from saying what they have to say. Let mm. them say what they have to say and let people who gravitate towards it, gravitate towards it, innit? Mm. And leave them to, to, to make their own decisions. But with that saying, I feel like the 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 things that they're saying can be very problematic, you know what I'm saying? Word. In terms of Trust. like the growth of young men in it, they'll look at that and be like, yeah, 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 I agree with that. But they haven't seen enough of the world to really get their own picture. That's what I'm saying. You're basically ruining the new generation. You're yeah, basically yeah. showing the new generation something what, you know, something what's so different between men and female and saying yeah, that, yeah. you know what, it, you know what it's like, bro? It's like primary school. You know in primary school when, when men be like, oh, I don't like women, yeah, 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 little yeah, boys, yeah, and then the girl's yeah, like, yeah. oh, I, oh you, my God, yeah, you kiss yeah. that, oh, my God. Do you get what I mean? It's, it's like a repeat. Shit, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like a repeat, but in a bigger generation. Yeah, yeah. And more bigger and wiser, but anyway, bro. Yeah, I mean, 
I tried to warn him. <laughs> I tried to warn him. And, uh, yeah, YouTube. I mean, look, it's YouTube's uh, website. They can do whatever the fuck they want. If he broke TOS, then that's an L for him. But I, I, I warned him. I told him, like, he was moving mad. He was moving mad. A lot of these booster shot, indoctrinated, brainwashed YouTubers are trying to take the fact that I'm banned. When in reality, it's bigger than you. The government is watching me. The senator of Michigan played my clip of a stream. The committee, the chair of Homeland Security said that I'm a domestic threat and that I'm encouraging violence. So that we all understand e exactly the type of extremist content we are discussing today, and I'd like to take a moment to uh, show a few examples, if you'd uh, check the screen. <laughs> what really happened is Susan got a phone call from somebody on Epstein's Island saying, you need to get rid of this guy. He's growing too fast and he's exposing the truth. You need to get rid of him before he keeps waking people up. But what they don't realize is that I don't need YouTube.com to go connect with people. YouTube is just a platform that I use. What I really need is my voice and a camera. And as long as I'm here, the audience will still be here too. I always knew that this was inevitable. When you start speaking the truth and you don't follow what they're saying, you don't believe in the feminist it's Black true, Lives Matter brainwashing enough. bullshit, the liberal Boy. indoctrination, the he, him in your bio. If you don't follow that, you're a threat. The tactics that they use are very simple and they do it over and over again. When somebody starts speaking the truth, they paint you as a racist, a human trafficker, a misogynist, anything that makes people think that you're a bad person so that you don't listen to the message. A lot of people are blindsided to think that I'm a misogynist when in reality, my philosophy is simple. Men and women need each other. Women are very easily brainwashed right now and men are getting weaker by everything we see on social media. They're pushing porn, they're pushing nonsense, they're pushing antidepressants on you. They want you to be dumber, weaker, slower, and they don't want you to hear the truth. They ultimately just want to keep complete control over you. I feel like it's just a money scheme. What, like what are you doing? No, not him, but like what YouTube is doing. They're not doing it to change your minds. I feel like it's just something where they're just trying to find money. They're, 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 fo they're following their, their agenda right now. That's Every, what I'm saying. You know, everyone's mm. on this like, oh, like um, rights for everyone. They're trying to put fucking different races in all the movies and shit. Yeah, they're trying yeah. to like show that um, like, like transgenders are people as well. Like they're trying to be very equal, progressive. progressive. Yeah, e equal, mm. equal basically, mm. innit? But it's like, and, he, and obviously his message is fucking with that, innit? But I feel mm. like, even I don't even feel like it's as much what he's saying. Like it is what he's saying, but on top of that, it's it's the way how how he's going about it. He's doing it so abrasively. Like he's 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 on streams and he's um like watching videos of of girls talking and and shit. He's like, oh these bitches, these bitches mm, want to do. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like yeah. he's he's moving it. He's doing it in a mad hateful way, bro. Yeah, and it's no, like it's true. Fam, you can't, you can't be mad, bro. You can't feel no type of way, bro. You can't feel like everyone's after you because look at what you're doing, bro. You no, know what I'm saying? It's true. You it's know true. what you're doing. It's true. You know that it's going to have a negative effect and you keep acting surprised when all of these things come back to you, bro. Like, if, if, if this is what you're going to do, if you feel like this is your truth and this is what you're really going to do, then you, you need to... Fam, you need to really stand on that shit, bruv. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And take that shit on the chest, like, t on, on the chin, bro. And be like, yeah, yeah, this is what I did. And this is what happened. And that's okay, fam. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't make excuses, bro. Because you know what was, like, you know what this shit was, fam. And they do that by ruining the household from the inside out. I understand that saying this makes me a target, but I have never cared about money to that extent. What I really care about is human connection. That's why I did artistic videos for nine years. I know that what I'm saying establishes a connection with my audience that a lot of people don't have. And a lot of them are jealous. That's why they're celebrating right now. Two YouTubers that I looked up to when I was a kid, H3, H3, Ethan Decline, Ethan Klein, and KSI, are both making fun of me when I got banned, even though they're YouTubers. Shout out Sneeko. We talked about Sneeko, didn't we? Basically just a manosphere, red pill, woman-hating loser. I wanna be Tate. Yeah, just, just another one, you know, another off-brand, uh, insecure man. So, anyway, he got banned, so we'd love to see it. See y'all, partners. See ya, partner. <laughs> <laughs> These are two YouTubers that before I even started YouTube, I looked up to as an example. And I saw them both sell their soul in real time. After they got canceled and after the same people that are coming after me came after them, they sold out. They gave up their principles and they apologized. They changed their agenda and they say whatever the fuck is on Twitter trending. Deep down, they no, both know that they sold out right? because I know. I've been watching them for as long as they've been making videos. So when someone like me comes around, they attack me instead of the bigger system that's controlling us all. 
I'm not a bad person. I'm just trying to wake you up. And they're jealous of the fact that they should have done what I did. I haven't. But why are you waking, like, waking, trying to wake other people up? Why are you, like, all right, cool. I understand that certain people need to understand, like, you know, what is around you and, you know, be more open, open eyed with it. But at the same time, though, some people can't get that open, bro. I hear that. But at the same time, in the same breath, it's like, if you really feel like, if you really feel like you have a message, yeah, and you feel like you know the truth, then you'd want to spread it, innit? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you want to help people. This is his way of, of, of trying to make people better. Yeah, but it? this don't sound like something better, though. Like, yeah, his yeah, videos, I'll be honest, Sneeko's videos is cold. Yeah, Everything, yeah, yeah. He, he makes cold videos. I like every them, single bro. thing what he was doing. But the thing is, is that he needs to understand not everyone is on the same rap, the same page as him. Yeah, right? yeah, facts. facts. You could, like, people who watch him and who knows him for who he is, I'll be thousand percent honest yeah they're going to respect him Facts. but people who's new to the thing they're gonna look, bro first impression exactly exactly they're gonna look at him bro. and be like what because he has one of the most more interesting fan bases yeah because it's like like half of his fan base didn't even fuck with what he was talking about bro mm, yeah, but it's because yeah. they knew him from before they still fucked with him mm. but what he was saying it was like oh like, yeah, I don't really fuck with what you're saying, but I like Sneaker. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's like, yeah, if someone not new comes and they don't know you and they disagree with your talking points and the way how you're coming across is so, so extra, then of course they're going to look at you like, bro, way who the much. fuck is this guy, fam? Like, you're doing too bro, much. on some of these videos back then, there was literally videos of, like, him interview people and they said, oh, I like the old him. Yeah, 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 exactly, so... So it's like, because he's being his true self, I know he feels a type of way, but because he's being his true self now, I feel like a lot of people, obviously, are too new to this, and yeah, he's yeah, just showing yeah, different yeah, impressions, yeah, but... Yeah. Sneaker, man. I have an advantage as an advocate for free speech because I've grown up in real time on this website. And even though they're trying to erase it, the memory cannot be taken away from people's minds. I am exactly who I say I am, and people don't believe the lies like they have with all these other martyrs of free speech. I posted a list of names on my Instagram. Andrew Tate, Kanye West, Donald Trump, Alex Jones, Julian Assange, Edward Snowden, all these people who have tried to save freedom of speech, and Instagram took it down for violence. The uncomfortable truth is if I was a he, him, feminist, soy boy, and I posted the same list of names and I just insulted them and called them all racist, Instagram would have kept it up. But because I'm advocating for them, they say that I'm promoting violence. The censorship is right in front of your face right now. If you talk about COVID, they put a warning right at the bottom. If you have the wrong opinion about the election, they delete your video. They take down your channel. The misconception well, that, that most people don't no, no, understand no, no, no. is they don't do this to protect us from misinformation. They do this to control the narrative. I've been wronged by Google. I've been wronged by my role models, my YouTube peers, but I've always attained the idea that what is real will prosper. Time will tell and eventually people will understand where I'm coming from. What big tech and all these YouTube sellouts don't understand is that genuine human connection cannot be replaced by anything. I have an audience online now that you can't take away. And no matter what platform I go to, no matter how much they try to censor me, people will actively need the truth. I dedicated my entire life for YouTube. It was my dream when I was a kid. I dropped out of college to pursue it, but it's not going anywhere. Luckily, I have a backup. It's all here on this website. And all the live stream backups are on patreon.com slash the Sneeko. Sign up for the so creativity have, kit if you want to see my though? life's work and all the artistic yeah. videos that I poured my life into that YouTube tried to strip away. But I'm not going anywhere. Eventually, these frauds who are not only praying but celebrating my downfall will lose all of their fans when they eventually get exposed and they can't sleep at night because they know they're full of shit. I don't care that I'm banned. I'm not like these other YouTubers. I don't need validation. I don't need a million dollars. I need to be rich so that I can protect myself and keep speaking the truth. But what I care about is genuine human connection, is inspiring people, is getting inspired, is sharing stories and being real. A lot of people don't know how to do that now because social media s extracts it away from you. I encourage you to sign up for my mailing list and also sign up for the creativity kit where I do three calls a week and I also teach you all the tools you need to go viral on social media and start making money right now because they're trying to program you and make you dumber. You're scrolling all day, get being a drone, listening to these bullshit ass people feed you nothing. You could sign up for my mailing list on this website and you could also sign up for the creativity kit where I do three calls a week and also have a whole course teaching you how to make money on social media now, how to go viral, how to have a presence like this and how to hack the algorithm. I did it so well, they had to ban me. 
For now, I'll be streaming at twitch.tv slash Sneeko Live. It's no telling how long I'm going to last on that platform. I can't predict I'll be there forever. That's why I implore you to sign up for my mailing list and also follow me on Instagram at Sneeko. But even then, I trust that even if I get banned off of every single one of these websites, you will still find me. I'm not going anywhere. And I'll end this video like I ended all of my streams. I'll say something that they don't want you to hear. Follow God. Be safe. Bob and weave all the haters. Ignore the distractions. Don't get programmed. Be safe. Bro, fam, I just hope that he just matures up a bit very soon. Um, I hope that he looks back at this situation and reflects on it and really sits down and thinks, like, is was this shit really worth it, fam? Car. But do you really think that he's basically he got too lost in? Yeah, he's he's basically system. He's own. He's yeah, own yeah. He went down the rabbit hole. And just got way too deep in it, bro. Like, and it's it's sad to see, fam, because, like, like he was saying, like, his whole life was on YouTube, bro. Like, mm. he has, like, 10 years worth of content from when he was a little youth, fam. And it's like, bro, you, you threw that all away, fam. You know what I'm saying? You threw that all away for what, bro? For what? I don't want to say, I don't, truth, listen, I don't want to say that he's, he's following Andrew Tate so much times. Yeah. But I feel like Andrew Tate made it worse for him. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because definitely. he would have been like, you know what, all right, cool, I'm doing my way, I'm, I'll see how it is, blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. Yeah. But to be honest, man, I, under I understand how he feels. He must feel like crap right now. Yeah, yeah, he must feel like shit, bro. But to um, be honest, man, if this is him, this is him, man. That's what it is, isn't it? You but anyway, saying? thanks for coming and watching you know Lost, in, Lost the in the Source. source. You know me? Thanks for everything. Subscribe, you know? comment, Subscribe. do all of that. You know me? All of that, man. Yeah, man. Wow. Stay lost with us, yeah? Uh, in a bit, in a bit, in a bit. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh. Trust. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, trust. Uh, uh. No, if I hit it, you know I'm missing. Oh, uh, man. We did it, we in it. I need this cake in the gold, keep flipping. I could have thought even never try quitting. This man's in the mission, he's in it to finish. Damn right. You know that he's killing. Calling the shots and I'm right, what's written? Move what I want, they'll ask for a mission. What should